in chapter 3 the debugger was used uh, to uh, understand how um, an application works and uh, its objects uh, interactions uh, the debugger is also uh, a good tool, a software tool that uh, uh, makes it able to um, uh, to uh, spot errors. Um, so uh, it can be used uh, uh, to uh, do a walkthrough. Uh, using the step and step into functions to uh, do the actual walking and uh, set a breakpoint uh, in order to uh, uh, signal the start uh, of the walkthrough. Uh, this approach has advantages um, that uh, uh, the state uh, of uh, um, the fields are automatically um, are automatically shown uh, and they uh, don't have uh, to be um, uh, found manually so uh, this uh, makes it uh, um, quicker and uh, less error prone than uh, manually uh, doing a walkthrough. Uh, but the disadvantage is that um, typically uh, the buggers uh, don't keep the uh, states uh, to track of the uh, previous states uh, so it uh, can be uh, more difficult to uh, go back uh, to the previous uh, calls and the previous states uh, the information that the debugger also gives is uh, the uh, stack uh, or call sequence uh, which shows the name of the method that contains the statement uh, the current statement uh, the name of the method that um, uh, this method was called from and the name of the method that that method was called from and so on uh, so uh, also, when, when uh, uh, the method is selected on the uh, BlueJ debugger, which, uh, which has this uh, call sequence on the uh, left hand side, um, it can be sele uh, selected and the local variables uh, will be shown for that method. So, uh, mm, let's put uh, into the tester a breakpoint for the first statement of test plus. And then call this uh, method so here is the call sequence So 
surgir tres de los verbos Let me also use the pin to for the plus method so that I see that it goes into apply previous uh, operation. Okay. 